By the time you have finished watching all the material on this tape, you will know certain things about the movement that is known as the Toronto Blessing and about those ministering it that not many people know about. You will know where the movement came from, how it has come into the church, and what kind of people have brought it in. It has been said that the movement began at the Toronto Airport Vineyard Church, spontaneously breaking out in answer to prayer for revival. You'll come to see that this information is false and that we have been led to believe a lie. I'll be showing you how the movement has come into the church by certain men for certain purposes. You'll be witnessing footage of popular and well-known preachers who have positions of leadership in the Christian church that will shock many of you, especially those of you who admire and follow these leaders. You will see the real and dark side of men like Rodney Howard Brown, Kenneth Copeland, Mike Evans, Jesse Duplantis and others that not many people know about. A side that clearly shows these men to be in league with Satan. If I were to tell you at the very beginning of the message that these men are real practicing Satanists who work undercover as Christian leaders in order to reach certain goals in life, being moved by an ambition of greed for wealth and a desire to corrupt and destroy the Christian faith, by bringing their master Satan into the church, I would naturally expect many of you to immediately react by saying something like this. Dear brother, now don't you think that you're going just a little bit too far? You can't just come out making statements like that and seriously expect people to believe you. Surely there is a big difference between merely presuming something to be so, like your own opinion, in comparison to what is really the truth. Well, if I were not able to show you this and prove it to you clearly, without leaving any room for doubt, I would never go ahead and dare make such clear and bold statements out in the open before all the body of Christ. There really is no way known in the world that those of you who have received the movement and are promoting it will be able to get around or deny the evidence produced on this video. A lot of you will be left speechless when you come to realize what sort of people and spirit you have come to embrace and have defended by accepting these men. What I'm talking about is something different altogether. I'm talking about professional evil men who really worship and follow Satan. Men who can be seen asking Satan to take over and to move... <laughs> Men who can be heard making clear statements that Satan lives in them and that he is their Lord. So what I mean by Satanist is what the word really means in its proper sense. Most of the footage where these men can be seen doing such things is from that widely circulated video of that convention meeting that was held on the 5th of August 1993, which caused much stir where Rodney Howard Brown and Kenneth Copeland could be seen clowning around in tongues. Many of you might have already seen some of the footage I'll be showing you. As for those of you who have, after having watched the same footage again on this video, one of the first things you'll probably say is, Lord God, how on earth could I have been blinded from seeing all these things? All the evidence has been right here all along, right before my very eyes. I had previously watched the video of that meeting numerous times and was never able to see any of these things. It was not until I sought the Lord for answers and asked Him to show me for certain whether this move was of Him or not, and if I could know for sure without any doubt that He opened my eyes and ears to see and to hear these men doing all these things. If you have experienced the Toronto blessing, may I appeal to you as your brother in Christ that you allow me the opportunity to share all these things with you by watching the video right till the very end. If you do this, you'll not only seriously consider and question the source of your experiences, but you'll also be led by the Holy Spirit to renounce all of your involvement and contact with the movement. There is really no other action that a genuine Christian who is honestly seeking to know the truth and has been caught up in this movement can take after watching the video clips that I'll be presenting very shortly. There is no way around the evidence it's very important that I press this point home at the very beginning of this video as the demons will begin to get desperate and would have already begun to work on those of you who have been through the movement to fill your minds with unbelief and mockery towards what I am saying. I can tell you for sure that they won't let go of you without a struggle. Their main way of keeping a person from watching this evidence is by injecting into the person's mind and body that attitude that shuts off all other possibilities of truth 
and that creates a resistance to anyone presenting this kind of evidence to them. An attitude that causes the person to think and believe that they already have arrived at the truth and there can be no possible way they can be in deception. Therefore they conclude that there is no reason for them to examine their position. It is a kind of evil pride that keeps a person from progressing in the path of truth. I have already met with this attitude many times, as the devil keeps people from even watching a scrap of the evidence by giving them a closed mind toward all other views except for their own, which he has formed in their minds through the leadership they are sitting under. But the genuine Christian and seeker after the truth who honestly desires to obey God and do all the things that are pleasing in his sight always takes the time to examine all things. He is not afraid of having to change if the truth presented to him demands a change. He says, I will examine this, I will check this out for myself. I want to be sure of the truth. There could be things of which I am ignorant of. I will examine and match this evidence against God's word and take it to God in prayer. As God has commanded me in his word to examine and test all things and only hold fast to that which is good and true. I'll be endeavouring to show as many examples as I'm able to fit on this video. None of you should have any problems hearing all these things as they are easy to pick up when someone is pointing them out to you and telling you what to listen for. There is no doubt in my mind that you'll hear enough to know the truth of the spirit that is behind this movement and enough to come to the same conviction of what I have stated these men to be. So without any further delay, let us begin then. I will play for you some of the clearer examples to begin with as my desire is not to lose a single soul of all those who are viewing the footage. If you have any of the videos of the clips I'll be playing for you in your possession, or if you can obtain a copy of them, especially of the convention meeting where Rodney Howard Brown was ministering the Toronto Blessing with Ken Coburn, make sure that you make the effort and take the time to check these things out for yourself, thus not allowing the devil the opportunity to plant any seed of doubt in your mind as to the genuineness of the clips. Just a small word of caution in regard to younger children that might be sitting with you and watching these video clips. I would ask you as Christian parents that you use discretion in this area as some of the video clips of the manifestations can prove to be very disturbing and also there are some examples of foul language that can be heard coming out of the mouth of people like Kenneth Copeland that I couldn't really leave out of a video like this that is dealing on the topic of exposing the spirit that is behind this movement. So watch now the rest of this video with very careful attention as we are about to pull the Christian mask off the face of this movement and you'll see the spirit of Satanism working through these men in these meetings. Let us begin with the first one. This is one that a lot of Christians viewing the footage have already picked up. On this one you can see Kenneth Copeland calling Dennis Burke to the front for ministry and he invites him to come and take the mark of the beast. What we must understand here is that if he comes out and pronounces the word clearly, a large part of the congregation would probably get up and walk out of the meeting and reject his ministry altogether. But if he says it in a disguised manner, making out as though he is speaking in tongues, then he can fool the listeners and get away with it. So we are not putting words into his mouth as the words mark of the beast are clearly pronounced. And that should be enough for a Christian to seriously consider rejecting his ministry. He is not speaking in another language here in which the words of that language sound like this phrase in English. I'll be proving this to you on the next example. So let us have a listen to it. I'll play it for you two times at normal speed and then I'll freeze the picture and play the sound of his voice at slower speeds in order to help you hear exactly what he's saying. I'll be doing this to all the examples on the video. So listen carefully now to Kenneth Copeland's voice as he's purposely speaking in a disguised manner while pretending to be speaking in tongues and he says the words come take the mark of the beast come on Dennis oh. Dennis Burke come in oh. the beast Boy. If you had any doubts about that one, this next one should settle the matter. Here he has called a couple to the front named Mark and Scarlet. He's pretending to be prophesying over them in tongues 
And after he is finished, Rodney Howe Brown makes out as though he's giving the interpretation of the tongue. Kenneth Copeland is not speaking in tongues here. He's speaking in plain English, but in a disguised manner. He babbles out a few words over the lady while pointing his finger at her head. And then she falls over onto the floor, laying there unconscious on her back after being affected by his spiritual powers. Then it's the man's turn to receive ministry. It's at this exact point that you can hear Kenneth Copeland starting to speak in disguised English. He turns to look at Rodney Howard Brown pretending to be prophesying over the man in a tongue. And he says the following words, Tell my brother now take the beast, take together Satan here. Yeah, have the mark off from the beast. While Kenneth Copeland is saying all this, you can see that Rodney Howard Brown is understanding every single word that Kenneth Copeland is speaking as he kind of chuckles and has a laugh about it. Since this is a long phrase, I'll play over you in two sections, as I'd like to make sure every one of you hears it. Listen for the first half. Listen very carefully to Kenneth Copeland's voice, and you'll hear him say, Tell my brother, now take the beast, take together Satan here. I'll play the second part for you now. Listen carefully again to Kenneth Copeland's voice. He's looking at Rodney Howard Brown and communicating with him in disguised English about the man who is about to be ministered to. He says the words, Yeah, have the mark off from the beast. Hallelujah, it's a new day. It's a new day, say the Lord. This is the time of a breakthrough. Yes, for you too, stepping across a threshold. Ah, 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 ah. On this next one, you can hear Kenneth Copeland asking Satan to tie up the money that is coming in through the movement. That is the money that is starting to roll in out of Christian pockets. From Christians that are being deceived by the supernatural demonic powers that are being displayed by these evil men in the meetings. Ignorant Christians are fooled into giving their tithes and offerings for the support and furtherance of what they have been led to believe to be the work and move of the Holy Spirit. You shouldn't have any troubles hearing this one. Listen to Kenneth Copeland's voice and you'll hear him communicating with Satan as he says the words, Time my money, Satan. Time my money, there's too many people just looking. Time my money, there's too many people just looking. Time my money, there's too many people just looking. Come my money, they then. It's too many people just looking. Come my money, they then. It's too many people just looking. Too many people watching. Come my money, they then. It's too many people just looking. If you forget about everybody else and just enter in. How many of you speak in other tongues? Wave your hand. You're already crazy in the natural. 